Welcome to Checking In at SEA. My name is Perry Cooper. We are in the midst of the airport parking garage for an exciting project we're going to give you some more details for. This is Steph Nelson, who is our manager of parking revenue. And we are talking about actually the parking guidance system. This is probably something if you've been out here trying to find a parking space, you've seen a little bit of it because we're in the midst of construction and we see behind us it's uh, some lights that are up here. What is this all about, Steph? Well, it's a major project that we've undertaken to uh, basically uh, implement new technologies in the parking garage that are going to improve passenger experience and uh, overall customer service for our customers. Uh, what we're doing is installing an automated parking guidance system with license plate recognition technology uh, throughout the 12,000 stall facility. Uh, that hopefully will uh, help customers uh, be able to find a stall uh, in a shorter amount of time so that they're able to get to the gate more quickly. Uh, as well as just be able to manage our occupancy uh, more effectively in real time. So overall, the first thing people are going to see are all these lights. Mm -hmm. So there's different colors that are associated with this. What, what are they going to see and what do those colors mean to them as they come sure, in here? Sure. So down all of the drive aisles, there's a system of lights and cameras uh, that basically uh, denote whether a stall is available or occupied. Mm -hmm. uh, different colors mean different things. Green for available, red for occupied. We also have specialty stall types, uh, electric vehicle uh, charging stalls. Those are uh, those are orange, uh, as well as ADA stalls uh, that are uh, blue in nature. And then within that, you like to see there's a camera in those devices. How does this help the product and the customer service throughout once we get it all installed? Sure, sure. So. The cameras themselves, once the customer uh, parks in the stall, it takes a picture of their license plate. So it lets the uh, operation staff know where the customers park their vehicle, as well as telling them that the stall is now occupied, so they know that there's a certain number of stalls that are still available for customers to use. Uh, but it also uh, helps the customer, when they return to the garage after their trip, uh, they're able to uh, look up the, the license plate uh, at one of our kiosks on the fourth floor uh, and be able to find that, find that car in the event that they haven't been able to remember where it was. Once we see this installed in full through all of our eight floors, um, what are some of those other additional benefits that will be there for customers? Well, not only will we be able to know in real time what the stall availability is when they arrive uh, and be able to get to uh, the stall faster. They'll be directed with lights and signage to be able to find that stall in a, hopefully in a, about 50% faster than they do in a typical garage. Uh, but they'll also be able to look online in advance. We have plans to uh, implement the system uh, on our port website and be able to have uh, real-time availability uh, across all eight floors so the customer can look before they, before they leave their house and see how many stalls are available and where those stalls are located. Uh, there's also going to be video surveillance module that's added to the system, uh, and that will also have real-time motion-activated uh, camera footage uh, in every single stall. So it's going to deter vehicle thefts, uh, vandalism, things of that nature, uh, and be able to track what's going on in the garage uh, when the customers are away from their vehicle. Okay, and when will we expect to see it completely uh, in operation? Yeah, so right now we have it in uh, floors one and two, uh, those are our bottom two uh, floors, and it's being installed throughout our entire garage, all eight floors. Uh, we are hoping that it will be uh, installed throughout the entire garage by the end of this year, and then fully commissioned uh, and available for customer use uh, by the end of Q1, if not sooner. The end of Q1 2023, if not sooner. We're seeing more parking here in our garage, and it's getting full fast yeah. around here. Yeah, we are. Uh, seeing significant impacts uh, uh, from our parking customers. Uh, that is something that's happening in the overall market. Uh, all of the off-site lots that uh, currently um, offer parking are also significantly full most days of the week. Uh, that's due to a lot of factors. Uh, increased uh, passenger employments, the return of people wanting to travel uh, through the airport. Uh, it's also the return of business travel, those people that have not uh, significantly you know, made business trips during COVID, uh, and then also just what's happening in the garage itself. To install this product, we're closing 800 or so stalls at any time, uh, as well as just the overall number of projects that we have going on in the garage at any one time. 
Uh, the garage is a living, breathing entity. It does not just offer parking to the general public. Uh, it also offers employee parking. Uh, it's a ground transportation hub for all of our taxis, limos, uh, app-based ride shares. Uh, so it, it does a lot of things for a lot of different uh, customer groups. And so we have to be cognizant of that when we're trying to implement a, a new technology or a major system in the garage uh, to make sure that we still have as much parking availability as we possibly can for our customers. That's a great point. It's an exciting project. So we're looking forward to that to get finished. Steph, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. And thanks for checking in at SEA.